happy Monday late. Um, yes, I am putting up this video on Tuesday morning, but it is my Monday video. I have been sick as a dog. Um, my wheezing and everything due to a cold has been horrific. Um, so if you hear me wheezing in any of the videos that I've already pre-recorded, um, just know that I was sick when I did them. You will notice a lot of the same clothes this week because I did them all on the same day. Um, just because I was doing all those things. Like I went grocery shopping, we came home, we meal prepped, and then I made dinner. So all three of those were actually done on the same day. So when you see them, that's what was going on. Um, I will be going over what my weekly schedule is going to look like on Wednesday when I do my first official weigh-in for the new year slash Positively Unstoppable Challenge. I will also be sharing my initial photos for the challenge um, and going over a little bit more about the challenge, what it entails. Um, again, if you are someone who saw my video on TikTok or saw what I put on here, I did mention it on here, or saw my Instagram video, um, if you subscribe to me on YouTube and or uh, Instagram, TikTok, that kind of thing, you can either email me through my business contact on here or you can um, message me on Instagram, which is probably actually quicker. I literally check my business emails like once a week. If you decide to join the DDPY Positively Unstoppable Challenge, or if you already have, um, you can message me. I am going to start a health coaching group. I am a health coach. I did go to school. I've been going to HCI. Um, and that's Health Coach Institute. And so if you want to get free health coaching, it's not going to be as detailed as like a one-on-one -on -one would be. It's going to be really more generic. It's going to be a group setting type of health coaching. Um, about a $500 value for free um, just because you're my subscribers. And I want to take care of my subscribers. If you guys want to be healthy, I want to help you be healthy. So make sure you message me. Say you want in the Facebook group. I will send you the link for the Facebook group. Like I said, Instagram is the easiest only because I do Instagram on my phone. My email for my business side is only like once a week and it's on my computer. So I don't necessarily catch those as fast. So you might be later getting into the group, but all the resources will still be there. Um, so today's video that I'm going to share with you guys is from when we went grocery shopping on Saturday. Um, we were supposed to go to Publix. Ended up that we didn't go to Publix because I wasn't feeling well and I really needed to go. I needed to go grocery shopping because we didn't have food. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you know, I know if we don't have food, what our tendency to do is to go out to get dinner. If we don't have something thought out, if we don't have something easily accessible, our first thing is, well, let's just go out and get fast food. And we, and, and honestly, the last couple months, it's been a lot of that, a lot more than it needed to be, which is why I said, I know when I step on that scale Wednesday, I'm going to have gained a lot of weight back. I have not been eating right. I have not been taking care of myself for a million reasons, which I will discuss at a later point. Um, but I plan on, I'm back on track. Like I, I told my husband, I said, I got to do this for me. This is no longer about, I don't have the liberty or the, the luxury of saying, oh, I just lose, lose 20 pounds. I have like 160 pounds to lose. I need to get, uh, you know, at least 160. I need to lose 300 pounds total approximately. And I'm like 100 and something in. And I was, I don't know where I am now. I'm sure, I'm hoping I'm still at 100. Um, but either way, whatever I've done to myself for the last couple months, I've done it and I own it. And, um, you know, I find that over the holidays I get very emotional. Um, my life has changed so much in the last year um, that I'm still trying to find my norm. I'm still trying to find me in so many ways. And I've done a lot of work on that. I really have, but it's not something you do overnight. It's a process like anything else. So I'll be discussing that in a later video, not today's video. Um, just so you know, I am filming all of my pre, like, hey, how you doing kind of things today, all at the same time for all three videos that are going to be up this week um, that I've already gotten done. Um, and so you will see the same outfit. I may also record one of my videos that I want to do about motivation and... Yeah, so we will see you guys later and enjoy my grocery haul. Hey guys, so I am going to try to do my grocery haul because this week is the start of the DDP Positively Unstoppable program and I am going to ramp back down to where I should have been. I know when I weigh in on Wednesday I will have gained quite a bit of weight because I have not been eating right and I've been drinking soda and yeah. And there's no excuse for it other than I kind of just made a decision that for a little while I just didn't care and probably not the best thing to do 
and we'll talk about that another day. Um, but for right now, I'm going to cover all my groceries and show you what we're getting. So I am making a recipe. I, I'm obsessed with a YouTuber. I can't remember her name right now, but I will put her link in below. She does um, Whole30 meal plans and stuff. And I um, don't necessarily follow Whole30. I, like I said, I do a lifestyle change, not a diet. Um, but her recipes are really good and they're super healthy. So she has a recipe that has chicken and broccoli and a uh, dairy-free cheese and mushrooms for a casserole. And I really want to make that. So I found mushrooms on clearance for $3.52. I'm actually going to make this tomorrow night. I will record it um, to see what I think of her recipe. Um, and I was like, well, if I'm going to make it tomorrow, clearance mushrooms are on my list. The next thing I got, um, she does a lot with baby arugula and spinach for uh, additions to like a salad for lunch. So I got a small container. So this will last me a couple days, but then I'll have to go get another one. But I would rather have a small container and use it up than have a large container and have it go bad. So we did get this small container. It's a mixture of baby arugula and baby spinach for lunches. Okay. Um, I got these as a snack. Um, they were 130 calories for half a cup. I generally maybe grab about like maybe, maybe a quarter of a cup as a snack, so it's about a 60 calorie snack. Um, and just sometimes if I just want something kind of crunchy, I will grab something like this. And at a dollar fifty, it's a pretty good little backup snack. I also got three cans of chickpeas, organic chickpeas, at Walmart. These are ninety two cents. I am actually making my own hummus and my own uh, crackers this week to go with my lunches. So I'm super excited. I will share that hummus recipe with you guys at some point. Um, but I'm excited to make my own hummus because it's expensive. Um, 92 cents for a can of hummus. I think you only need one can to make the hummus. Or no, 92 cents for a can of chickpeas and a couple of other ingredients. And boom, you've got hummus. And it's like $4 for the same size hummus in the store. Okay, so I am making lentils um, to go along with my lunches for the week. And I grabbed this Ocean's Halo Sea Salt... Uh, non-GMO sea seaweed snack that's actually going to go in with the lentils while I cook them. I'm just going to rinse the salt off of it before I throw it in the thing with the lentils. Um, but this was like a dollar something. Um, she uses kombu, which is not exactly this, but this is the closest I had near me. Modifications. And we ran out of our pink Himalayan salt, so I did grab some more pink Himalayan salt. We use this. This is the only salt we use, really. So, yeah. Um, for the crackers I'm making, I have to use pepitas, which is basically pumpkin seeds. Um, so I'm going to be grinding these up and putting these into the cracker mixture. Um, I'm doing that at a food processor. I'm going to try to do as many videos on my foods this week as I possibly can. And I'll share them kind of as I go. I'm, I, I'm not sure how many new things I'm going to be trying every week, so I might just save a few for things I know I'm going to make regularly so I'm not overloading you guys with videos because my video in input is going to increase for the next six months. So just so you're prepared. Okay, so there's also a vegan channel I have started watching. I'm not vegan, but she has some really good vegan snacks that are pretty healthy. And one of the things she makes um, has Rice Krispies in it. So I got the no-name brand because my family will also eat these. Um, one and a half cups is 160 calories. I think her recipe calls for like less than half a cup. So it'll probably be like 30 calories going into it. So I think this is a kind of nice little thing to add in. Um, and I'll be making that recipe. I will definitely share it with you guys. Just a vegan no-bake snack mix. Um, beets. My husband used to make a juice that he liked that had beets in it. So he said, can we grab some stuff to make that juice again? I was like, sure. So he's going to be juicing a little bit this week. I also got this um, Great Value Black Cherry um, Energy uh, Water Additive. It's kind of like the Mio ones. It runs about three fifty. dollars um, It is zero calories, zero sugar, zero fat. So really all you're doing is just adding some flavor into water. Um, and so I did get this. It does have caffeine in it. Um, just in case I need a little bit of extra oomph. Um, that's Kenny's. My son... Um, likes to put yum yum sauce on his rice, so we got that, but that is not mine. I'm like, why are you giving me that? That's Kenny's. <laughs> but, I mean, I used to love yum yum sauce, but it's really not good for me. 
I would like to find a healthy yum yum sauce. Maybe I'll do that. Look for one. Make one. That's what I'm saying. Make find one I can make. Um, and then we got some Annie's organic uh, mac and cheese. Um, this one's still it's it's pretty high, but you know I am gonna have some extra calories. I've been really low on my calories, and we did get we got two of these because we do have some hot dogs to eat as well. We need to get out of the freezer because we only got a couple months to clean out our freezer and sell our freezer. So there's that. The next thing is I'm gonna be making my own trail mix. So part of that I got some dried berries and golden raisins. Then I'll be making, mixing with some cashews and other nuts, that kind of thing. Um, back to the organic or the vegan girl that makes the no bake snacks. A lot of the stuff she does has dates in it, so I did go ahead and grab a bag of dates. Um, I will be using for some of the snacks that she makes. Now, um, I will be ordering these from now on on Amazon because it's way cheaper. Um, but I got some raw whole cashews. I am going to start making, like when I make the um, sauce for the thing tomorrow night, um, I am going to be making my own sauce with cashews. So I'm going to soak these starting tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow night they will have soaked long enough that I can use them in the recipe. Um, but I have a couple of the recipes that the girl, that the different girls make, um, that I'll be trying. So um, the one girl who I watch that does the Whole30, um, she does a lot with red cabbage, so I grabbed some red cabbage to throw in my salads for the week, um, and just, you know, to add into stuff. Um, also for my salads during the week, I got some carrots, um, these are just organic carrots from Walmart. Um, these were actually the, pretty much the same price as non-organic carrots, so I went for organic. When it's only a couple cents difference, I definitely grab organic. Um, so this I'm going to spiralize and put in with my other stuff for salads. I also got some celery hearts. These were organic and literally they were four cents more than the non-organic whole sticks. So I was like, well, for four cents, I'm getting organic. Um, and this I'm going to use as a snack to go with the hummus. So I'm going to cut some of these up and put them in a jar with some water to use them for hummus. The rest of them I'm going to try juicing celery because I've heard it's really good for you and I've heard it's good. I don't know if I'll like it or not. So I'm just gonna make a little bit the first time, but if I like it, I'll probably keep making it. So that's what I got that for. Now, along with my husband's beets, we also got him some pears because the recipe that we have for his juice is a pear, a beet, an apple, some uh, ginger that you just kind of shred up. Um, so that is what we're going to be doing for him for his little juicing thing. Juicer. Yeah, I run it through a juicer. So the um, green onions, a lot of the recipes call for green onions to kind of be sprinkled on. And I'm also going to put some of these on my salads during the week, too. It would be really good. So for that recipe tomorrow night that I was talking about, I did get two crowns of broccoli. She said to get um, fresh broccoli tomorrow afternoon. I will throw these in water so if there is any buggies in here, they'll get out. Um, so I'll be soaking these over for the afternoon tomorrow before I make dinner. Uh, but I did get two pretty good-sized crowns of broccoli that's coming out and then three apples two for my husband one for me um one of my snacks i'm going to have this week is going to be cutting up an apple and putting some almond butter with it so that'll be one of my snacks this week for my hummus as well as a couple of the recipes i do have some fresh spinach that is just spinach no arugula and i'm also a fan of spice so i did grab four peppers um, they are serrano peppers because for whatever reason, my Walmart has not had jalapenos in like two weeks. And it's not like I'm just missing it. Like we have not had jalapenos in two weeks. So hopefully that will change. And then I got three of the biggest sweet potatoes I could find because I already have two. Um, one of these, this one right here, I'm going to try making um, sweet potato bread, I guess is what they call it. Um, you slice it and then you bake it with some oil on it. And then you literally let it set after you bake it, and you can stick it in your toaster to heat it up in the morning with a little bit of, um, like, almond. You can either make, like, crush up some avocado on it, or you can put almond. I don't think I'll put almond butter on it. It doesn't sound good to me. But I might just eat it straight. Like, that sounds really good to me with an egg, like a fried up egg. Um, so I'm going to try that because it looks kind of good. So it's definitely on my list of things. I don't need those baby things because Taylor sometimes watches my videos. I picked up some baby stuff, non-gender, because we don't know yet. And I also went ahead and invested in one of these. It's $16 at Walmart. I have a little hand one, 
But when you're doing a whole bunch of stuff, you're like, oh, your hand starts to hurt. So this one, you just have a handle that you just... And since I'm doing a lot of stuff with spiralizing this week, especially, and probably in the future because it's so easy to, to make and to store, um, I figured I may as well just invest in one of these um, and go from there. And so I will be ribbon cutting the um, cabbage with this. I will be spiralizing um, my sweet potatoes with this and my carrots. And yeah, so that is my whole grocery haul. Um, and so yeah, I will be sharing some of my recipes and what's going on this week. My way I do videos is going to be changing a lot um, because I want to be more informative with you guys and kind of take you through everything I do so that if you are either number one, doing the Positively Unstoppable program, you can maybe get some ideas. Number two, um, if you're just somebody who's trying to lose weight and you want to know what other people do, I really want to share what I'm doing so that you can maybe try it and know if something really, because a lot of times these people who do videos will be like, oh, this is so good, and then you make it and it's so not. So I'm going to be really honest with whether or not the food's any good. I will still eat it because I'm not going to waste food, but unless it really makes me throw up, I will draw a line there. But I don't, none of the stuff is stuff I would normally throw up, so I'm, I think I'm okay. But yeah, so I'm be sharing a lot of the recipes, how I'm doing things. Um, it's going to be more of like an action vlog back and forth. I don't leave the house a lot because there's really no reason to waste gas. But um, when I do, I'll take you with me. Um, but yeah, so this is my grocery haul to start off my Positively Unstoppable program. And let's see what happens. Thank you.